And welcome back to Let's Play Darklands with me, Polar Dash. Um, last time, uh, we, uh, man, we made our way to Colin from the city of Campen. Uh, but not before we were, uh, given another quest by, uh, another foreign trader. Uh, but this time, uh, yeah, in, in, uh, the marketplace in, in Campen. Um, he charged us with taking out a... Robber Knight, a raw, a raw Britter, uh, that's infesting the roads between, uh, Kempen and, uh, uh, Aachen, 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 one of those three pronunciations is closer to German. <laughs> I'm gonna try to start pronouncing these words correctly to, to all your guys' uh, dismay, because it's gonna be me repeating a city name like ten times over, it's gonna be bad. But uh, hey, you know what? I'm I'm playing a game full of German words. Might as well pick up how to say some German things, right? Not that I ever will. But anyway, for my entertainment, my own entertainment. Um. So yeah, this Lobritter is uh somewhere between here and here, um, and uh, this foreign trader offered us a lot of money to take him out. So, uh, I think it's to our benefit to, uh, yeah, do something about him. Even though it'll probably end up killing us. Because, <laughs> uh, robber knights are no joke. They are, uh, equipped to, uh, make you bleed to death. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, uh, you know, have a party wipe before we actually even get to finish a, a quest. So, uh, I, I think I was, uh, I was trying to figure out which quest I should do now, is if I should go and take out this Robber Knight, or if I should continue with what I was doing to grab this Tarnhelm for the foreign trader in, uh, in that city. It's not Braunschweig. W's are pronounced like V's in German, so it would make it like Braunschweig. Yeah. Braunschweig, that place. Uh, and I, I think uh, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to continue and uh, grab this Tarnhelm before I make an attempt at this Robber Knight. Just so that, yeah, we, you know, if I'm gonna... Just in case I I die against the Robber Knight, at, at least I'll have a, uh, you know, a quest finished before the Let's Play ends. Alright, um... But this is all... This is all... Uh, theory. You know, I'm going to try my best to take out this Robber Knight. I'm not saying that we're just going to go and get killed. Just that there is a high probability that we will. Alright. Okay. So I think I talked enough. Um, so we're in Cologne. Uh, that's, that's been, actually been a while since I played. Let me do equipment checks. I, I bought a Mace for Toby. Good. I didn't buy a, buy a Longsword for Inferno yet. I think he needs one. And we all got shields, right? Yeah, Pink still has his poneyard. I do want him to have a short sword soon. Short swords have the same penetration value as a poneyard, so it's just better to have a short sword. It deals a bit more damage than the poneyard. Alright, so uh, did we check? I I probably did, but I want to check, double check anyway to see if I have a... There's a long sword on sale at the swordsmith's lane here in Cone. And there is! Why didn't I buy this? I probably made up some some reason. I don't remember now, so uh Hey Inferno. Inferno wants his longsword. So I'll let him have it. Why the hell not? There you go, Inferno. It's a 35 quality longsword. Looks good on you. It's like a plus one weapon, if you wanna you know, talk in D and D terms. Because it technically is, uh I, I think I said before that uh, having uh a weapon that's uh, 10 quality better than your opponent's armor would have the weapon deal point more damage to the opponent. So, you know, it's kind of like a plus one longsword, considering that most guys are equipped with uh, 25 quality uh, armor. So that's, you know, that's good. So Inferno is now brandishing his brand new longsword, swinging around the air, testing it, feeling mighty good about himself. All right. So I think all that's left to do is to head for 
coal blends. I think this is where our quest was leading us, right? I'm just checking the quest log. Yeah, south of coal blends, northwest of mines. All right. Whoops, I did not mean to head to the main city square. All right. So, uh, in front of swinging and sewing around, let us in the main, uh, yeah, the main city square. Let's wander off in here. Let's, let's go back. It's a shame that we didn't really get much out of Cone, though. Well, except for this longsword now. We were denied the university because the ping didn't feel like doing it right. And, uh, we were denied the astrologer's mine, too, because ping didn't feel like doing that right times, too. All right, uh. Let's check out the docks to see if there's a ship sailing for cool ones. There isn't, but there is. Later. So I think I'm going to have Inferno charge up his key here. Uh, by heading off into the end and paying this ridiculous three groschen to stay a night at this super awesome luxurious inn. I wonder if it has a special name. I didn't check. Was it called the Ghost House? Alright, so Inferno is... Uh, Praying while swinging a sword around in his grand suite of his hotel room, making all kinds of lightsaber sounds. Oh, let's check to see if uh, the boat is now sailing for cobwebs. Ping didn't get much sleep because he spent all night banging at the banging on his on his wall, telling in front of the, to shut up next door. There we go. All right, so we'll we'll sail. So Ping can get some some rest here because in front of can swing his sword on deck where. While Peng rests up in the, you know, the, the cabins of the boat. Okay, our boat approaches Cool Blends. Um, it's a strong fortress city overlooking the Rhine Mulzel Junction, ruled by the Archbishop of Trier. Mm, we decide to. Let's see if Toby can convince the Wolfmasters to let us in free. Hey, awesome! Toby, Toby convinces the Wolfmaster. Or maybe in front of that, he's totally pretending he's a Jedi with his new longsword. He did his Jedi mind tricks. Oh, it's night time. I, I guess it won't hurt to go kill something real quick, you know, get some exercise. In front of him, test his new longsword. I want to test his new longsword. Do, do I have it equipped, by the way? I probably don't. I do! So I want, this is what a longsword looks like. It's it's longer than a, than a short sword. Yeah, surprising, I know. Uh, all right. So let's let's do this. There's gonna be at least one of these per video where I'm doing battle with a bunch of cutthroat thieves. It's it's inevitable. Uh, when you play this game, you should not miss the opportunity to take out these guys because they're you know easy money. They might earn you experience, and they're just plain fun to kill. All right. So throw. Nice. Paying fist pumps. I art so awesome, says Ping. Okay, so everyone could now... No, you know what? No. Just keep shooting. This... I might have another shot with at least an arrow. I might uh, let Toby switch up to his dart. Pull a dart out of his bandolier. His whole bandolier of holding two, two darts. Did I buy him more darts? I don't remember. I didn't, yeah. So you go, nope, 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 let's not fumble around. And I gotta click on him again. Here we go. Click, fire! No, uh, you know, I might, I'm gonna spend all this time doing this for no reason. Oh, nice! Wow, she, she just <laughs> shot him in the chest, point blank. Awesome. Uh, in front of you can take out this guy. And I don't think Toby is throwing. Oh, he did. Alright, good. These guys are so aft. There you go. And uh, in front of wading through the cutthroat thieves. Swinging his longsword around like a pro. Cutting off limbs. And Pang going in and doing the Pokeboat. Good. We win. Let's grab back our arrows. Javelin. Get arrows. Toby gets his dart. I'm going to... Oh, I can't. If only I could... Do go into the thing in this screen, inventory menu in the screen. I won't forget to switch over back to the. Hey, nice. That's what I want to say. As you catch your breath, common folk come into the street and thank you. Awesome longsword, man. Yeah, I know. Says Inferno. All right. 
So let's do this. Good. All right, and it's daytime. Good timing. Uh, let's go sell our loot at the Crafts Guild. Do you have? It'd be nice if you had a short sword. You don't. Oh, pen gets sad. It's like, well, why does Inferno get to have a long sword? Not gonna stay with his dinky ponyard. Well, why can't I upgrade? Mm -hmm. Alright, but while well, Peng is talking to himself, Toby goes up to the counter and sells his wares. Uh, and then we leave. Let's check out the armor's way. Uh, hey, scale. Now, if we do take out the robber knight, it's gonna make us rich, just to let you guys know. Uh, I think the reward was like 20 ish. Florence. And there's a way to, to uh, milk more money out of a uh, Robber Knight quest. I'll show you that once we get to it. It'll make us butt effing rich. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is just go on a crazy shopping spree. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rock. <laughs> That's if we win, though. And I'm hoping we'll win, because what waits on the other side of this tunnel is, is awesomeness. Um, go here, I think... Uh, Getting flemmy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just gonna have uh, Axiana pick up another arrow. And I need to do this thing real quick out of screen. There you go. All right. We're right, leaving. Let's head to the crafts guilds. Oh wow! There's not even an astrologist lane here. <laughs> thing is getting depressed. I can't even. I can't even do my thing. Let alone buy a short sword. Okay, well, that's that. Oh, we walk down the side street instead. <laughs> because Ping is feeling that sad. That much sad. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't feel like taking the main street. It's too sunny. It's gonna, I just like the gloom here in the side street. Where is the churches? There we go. Alright, come on, Ping. You can do this. Go to the, uh, oh, wow, the deuce, her, and house, where the monks study their thing, and you're going to do your thing by talking them into letting us use their library? Pang! Uh, we look up eagerly, but they're like, no, that guy, he's depressed. We don't need that kind of depression in the monastery. Have a nice day. That blows. <laughs> Okay, well, fine. We we bow and depart, and we we punch Ping. We take turns punching Ping. Uh, well, I guess we'll just let him cry in the end here, and uh, Inferno can pray. Not enough room in this end to swing a sword around, so at least Ping can get some bed rest. Go. It's good. And I guess we're done. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but head out and try to finish this quest. So let's do it. South of Coolblinds. And this might be it, this cave here. Let's. South of Coolblinds, right? Yeah. All right, so let's head toward it. Get out of the forest! No! Suddenly, Axiana holds up her hand. I think someone or something is hidden up ahead, she whispers. You respect her perceptions. She's the best in this kind of thing. And decide to, uh... Butts. Uh... Okay, Toby, sneak up on them and, uh... Talk to them into letting us, letting us go. All right. Hey, with a ringing bellow, Toby shouts, "What's going on here?" Then, in a virtuoso display of commanding presence, uh, he succeeds in completely intimidating the bandits, until they feel lucky to be allowed to leave before you consign them to some unimaginably horrible fate. Well, they believe me, is all Toby says to explain his surprising performance. All right. We pat Toby in the back. Well, 
he gets a point of speed common, sweet. Well, Pen gets even more sadder because everyone's now congratulating and Toby and how awesome he is. He's completely getting ignored. <laughs> uh, this, this episode is uh, Pen gets depressed episode. So let's let's go. Here. Above you, halfway up a rock face, is an opening. It looks like a giant doorway into the cliffside. So we, uh, conceal ourselves and watch the opening for a few hours, or have Ping, our best climber, go up and... What the F? <laughs> uh, I can tell you guys right now that Ping is not our best climber. I'm sort of confused, Ed. Ed why the game thinks Ping is our best climber? I was sort of uh, hoping to showcase how having at least one person with high agility is a plus, a bonus for the, the team, because they can do this. But apparently the game is uh, brain farting. <laughs> or maybe the, the game is role-playing with me. You know. <laughs> Everyone's kind of hating Ping today, so... Uh, so they, they push him into doing this. <laughs> So, Ping, you're useless. Why don't you go climb up and uh, test your skills at climbing? We could use a good laugh. But Ping's like, but, but Axiana's the best climber. No, 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 I, I think you should try. You should make yourself useful. For a change, you know. Considering that you're useless. Ping sighs. I, I, I guess I have no choice. Why Why does the game think... Maybe if I... Uh... Or, well, Axiana's already... Stripping off a chain shirt. All the guys turn around. Girl is unclothing herself. Getting ready to go up. No! Toby's like, Max hey, Yana, what are you doing? It's. Ping, Ping's got this. <laughs> Ping, strip off your armor. Why, why are you letting a girl strip off her armor clothes? So that, uh. You know, letting 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 a girl do man's work. It's, that's shameful. Ping, Max Yana's, but I want to climb. I like climbing. No, no, Ping likes climbing too. Says Inferno. Don't you bang? No, no, I, I actually don't. Yes, you do! Climb the cliff! <laughs> oh, man. I guess he has to. What's this for? Wow. Yeah, um, and I was going to showcase how taking off the armor is a good thing. Uh, you want your guys to be in light load when they make the climb to, to increase their chances of succeeding. Well, let's see. Alright, well, we all got our hopes and... Dreams riding on your back, Ping. You're gonna climb this cliff and show them that you're actually made of amazing sauce. So do it. Ah! <laughs> Struggling up the cliff, Ping slips and falls. He slides roughly down the face of the cliff to land among the rocks and trees at the base, and no one catches him. <laughs> ah, thud. Oh! After this disaster, you have no choice but to attend the injured, amending any further attempts today. I'm surprised Pink didn't die, he just lost like 30 some strength points. Holy mother. Yeah, we're not gonna risk Pink dying as, as funny as that was to the rest of the party. Let's set up camp, because that is no joke. Oh no, let's see. So, Wax, and I want you to guard the camp and let Ping fix himself. <laughs> uh, in front of you, you can swing your sword around while praying, and Toby, you can just, I don't know, roast some marshmallows. Just keep doing this for the day. Oh, you know what? In front of why don't you uh, relax with Toby, have some marshmallows. You could use that point of endurance. Go, this is not helping at all. Okay. Oh, butts. On patrol, Axiana spots a party of soldiers headed towards the camp. Alas, someone has discovered your presence here. So we, uh... Alright, well, see, what's nice about the party of soldiers uh, spotting you guys to a party of bandits spotting you is that at least you can talk them into letting you stay. Well, unless you fail. Despite your best efforts, the huntsman remains unmoved. Leave or pay, he demands. But you can pay him three silver. How much money do we have? All right, I think it's worth it. Can you can you break a florin? You can. 
One week, he says, then be gone. Alright, no problem. So, what? Uh, pray, bake, cook marshmallows, Xiana, guard camp. Whoops! Alright, Peng. Peng, wake up. wake up. You need to fix yourself. Alright. There we go. Now, maybe, hopefully, that was like a crappy glitch. Maybe if we go back into the cave, the game will think that Axiana will be the best climber. No! What the F? This is confusing. Now, let me try this. Let me, um... Let me have, uh... Uh... You know, I want to like, do this today. I want to do this in this session. Uh, like this, and like that. And then have, and then head out, and then go back in. Oh, come on! Suddenly, a band of ragged but determined band is leaps from ambush, yelling, drop your weapons or die! Quickly, you, uh, well, Axiana is, uh, buttoning up her chainmail here. <laughs> okay, pulling up her skirt, there you go. Uh, well, Toby convinces them that we're not worth our, worth our time. There we go. With a ringing bell, Toby shouts, what's going on here? Then a virtual display, so you just blah, 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 blah. We, we are left alone. Hey, sweet. All right. I said, hey, what's going on? Again. Now it's oh crap! Right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave. I have Axiana take off her armor while the guys turn around and head back in and not. No, oh, come on! This isn't funny anymore. I mean, as much as. This is giving me commentary material. I I don't like picking on Ping that much. He's a cool guy. So uh So come on game. Maybe no, I don't like Inferno. Maybe if I <laughs> Hilarious, okay. So uh I don't know Ping somehow convinced the party that Inferno was the best climber. Good on you, Ping. Friggin' Inferno feeling all smug that he's got he's got this new long sword. He's, he's kicking ass for the Lord. Thinks he's this important knight in the service of the of the Almighty Father. You you strip off your armor and you make that climb. And Ping's gonna watch you fall. Chance is poor. All right, Inferno, come on, do it. Ah! And Ping is clapping all the way down. Struggling up the cliff in front of slips and falls. And uh, Ping does not catch him. <laughs> but I guess Ping will tend to his wounds. This isn't, this isn't productive though. I mean, I'm kind of not happy that Axian is not the one making a climb. This is sort of bad. Uh, okay, well. We'll hang out we're going to camp. Ah, oh, the right to risk is six. No. Ping needs to tend to Inferno's broken everything. So, you know, why don't you guard camp to some while Axiana roasts marshmallows her way? And plays the flute and stuff. You know, plays some music for Ping. Even though it doesn't sound like music to Ping. Ah, oh, bad new bears! It's pandas this time! Alright, we have to leave. Because Inferno is in no condition to fight. But you should probably equip your armor. You know, there is that, that village right across the road there. Maybe we can uh, take up residence and uh, heal Inferno. You know, what's nice about uh, getting rest at a... Getting a place to stay at a village is that they don't really charge you much. So let's do that. Because I, I do want to finish <laughs> this quest in this session. Uh, hey, Schultz, what's up? Uh... Can you help us? No. 
but uh, you can stay at one of our one of our cottages. All right, let's just seek shelter because it's 25 minute mark. I want to get this quest done. Uh, regain strength. No! Really? <laughs> Looking forward to peaceful slumber, you retire to your rooms. But at midnight, you are suddenly awakened by a crash and then an outcry. Leaping to your feet, you hear pounding on the door. There is a group of angry villagers, bloodlust in their eyes, just outside your room. No! You attempt to make a quick getaway through the window, but more of the mob is outside. They corner you, brandishing clubs and tools. You have no choice but to fight back. Oh my god. Inferno. Suit up. Oh, you are. This is not good. Inferno is, has... No... Both arms looped around, looped on crutches. There is five of them. Inferno's gonna die. Inferno is gonna die. Uh, all right. Mm, this is bad. This is alright. <laughs> I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to take out the villagers first. The Schultz is equipped with a falchion. Villagers got clubs. They they have more penetration. All right, in front of you, gonna oh, are you over encumbered? Overloaded. You are. But take off your shield. Heavy load is better than overloaded. Can you can you pray to a saint? Who Saint Barb? Yes. Uh. Yes, I think this is exactly what I need, but I'm just gonna, just gonna see if I do have any saints that gives me hit points. You can't cast him. Okay, flipping through his holy decks in panic. Uh, King of England, blah blah blah. Do you heal me? No. Flips the page. Uh, Perpetua. I I do not need animals. These aren't. Uh, these are animals in front of, but they're not. They're not technically animals. All right, so we're gonna have to pray to. Barbara here. Alright, I I choose you, Saint Barbara. I, I'm gonna dump everything because I need this to succeed. Otherwise Inferno will die. Pray for Inferno. Huh. Hey, alright. Useless, useless. But the uh, the fact that he can't die now is plenty useful. Alright, now that we got some insurance. In front of you, gonna unleash an arrow into that, to that guy's mouth, the holy way. Here, to take out that guy on the on the right, just because it's closer to, to Inferno. Launch. What was that? That was lots of damage. Good. No, it wasn't. That says 13, but I don't think it was. Nice. All right. Toby, you need to jump in there. We're gonna have to see. I'm gonna see if I can block him off and. In this road area, then you're gonna take it. Take the shelts. I don't know what those guys are doing, but good for them. Axiana, cover, cover Inferno. Cover Inferno. Or not. Or go here. Go. Oh shoot. Oh, good, good, good. Ping, good. Ping's gone. Kaka, kaka, fear me. No kinds of funny animal sounds. Uh. Alright, you should change your target to this guy. And Axiana, what are you doing? Axiana, hit this guy. Oh, no! Pink Perry. Come on, this is for Inferno. You're saving him. Alright. Ping is going... down. Ah, no! It's getting clubbed in the back. Toby, get, get there! Get there! Ping needs you! Um... Inferno, you are... Well, you know what? Go go do something, because, I mean, you got Barbara backing you up. You can't die. Go. Nope, nope, that, that, guy's, try, that guy's trying to be sneaky. He smells blood from Inferno. He wants some. Go. All kinds of blood is seeping th through Inferno's bandages. Uh, but Inferno is fighting on. Yeah, he's beating the bandit down with his crutches. And, alright, we survived. Wow. 
Uh, that was close. And we got some loot out of it. That's nice. But I think we have to do this again. And we leveled. Good, good. Battle results victory. You have escaped the immediate doom of the crazed villagers' onslaught. Looking around to get your bearings, you, you look up to the top of a nearby hill where you see a huge bonfire surrounded by dancing figures in their ecstasy not all the somethings even appear human no oh figures oh that sort of scared me <laughs> why why is inferno turning red uh, as you step through the hamlet of geldern um, it is obvious that the people here belong to some sort of witch cult an unholy altar stands atop a hill, and the villagers issue forth, issue forth from their homes, carrying weapons and uttering threats against your persons. Can we flee? What's our chances? Oh! Fleeing. Okay, so, uh, I'm out of time. Next time... Next time, I think Inferno wants revenge on these guys. And the world. So, um... Yeah. See you then.